You may all be seated. Stay on the record. Mr. Schroyer, I'm going to ask you just a few questions. testified that you did a show and then a, a second show, is that right? Yes. And what were the topics of those two shows? I mean, were any of the topics of those two shows this, this uh, trial? Yes. Okay. Did you and Mr. Jones talk about anything that happened at the trial? I don't recall exactly what was discussed. Are they still available for viewing? I believe so. So you think you talked about the trial without talking about what happened at the trial? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. Well, you just told me that the topic included this trial, didn't you? Yes. Okay. And I'm asking you, did you talk about what happened in this court? And you said, I don't remember. Well, I just don't recall the exact details. Or I'm not asking you for any details. Did you talk about things that happened in this courtroom? Probably, yes. Didn't Mr. Raynal inform you that you were under the rule? What rule? So is that a no? Did he have a conversation with you about being under the rule? Well, he did. He told me I am not to watch any other witness testimony. Did he not tell you he, you weren't to speak with any other witness? Um, I don't believe so. Did he not tell you you weren't supposed to discuss anything that happened in this courtroom during the trial? No. Any further questions on this topic only? Any other questions on this topic? And be careful. Mr. Schor, um, during your conversation on Tuesday, what time was that that you were on the air with Mr. Jones? I believe Mr. Jones got in to the office that day at about 2 o'clock. 2 p.m.? I believe so. And what time were you on till? 6 p.m. And did you discuss any of the witness testimony from the day or hear anything about um, any of the evidence that was presented in the case? No, I don't believe so. Have you had any other show appearances this week with Mr. Jones? I posted on Monday and Tuesday, and I believe that's it. So you weren't on the show yesterday? No. Okay. Were you on the show today? No. All right. And these are all available online, right? Yes. All right. You may step down. You'll have to... Uh, actually, I'm going to read something to you. under the rule, which means, this doesn't apply to parties or experts, but it does apply to you, that it will be necessary for you to remain outside the courtroom while other witnesses are testifying. You are not to talk with each other or with any other person, including the parties, about the case except by permission of the court. You may, however, discuss your testimony with the attorneys in the case. You are not to read any report of or comment upon the testimony in the case while under the rule. Any witness or other person violating these instructions may be punished for contempt of court. 
and it may result in my striking the witness's testimony. Thank you. You may step down. Mr. Reynal, on Tuesday, when you invoked the rule in this case, I also, in addition to reading what I just read, read the following portion. Counsel, inform your other witnesses that the rule has been invoked and the effect of the rule. Did you hear me say that on Tuesday? I did, Your Honor. Did you follow my instructions? Clearly not the way Your Honor intended. I can assure Your Honor that they did not discuss anybody's testimony. It will be easy to find out if they discussed the case, won't it? Certainly, Your Honor. I misunderstood based on, on my experience and my practice. Because um, you're just a brand new lawyer, right? Enough with the aw shucks. I don't know the rules of court. I understand. Now, I want to make it clear. Anyone who might be a witness needs to be informed tonight about the rule, that it has been invoked and what it means, which is that they will not speak to any other person except one of the lawyers, not a party, lawyer, about anything having to do with this case and this trial. Do you understand, Mr. Reynolds? Crystal. Thank you. 